Hello, everybody. Once again, it is story time with Teacher Cole. For those who don't know me, I am Teacher Cole, and I am your host for our story time. I am also the owner of Teacher Cole's English Corner, TCEC. It is an international group of teachers who are highly qualified and very well educated and ready and willing to teach your student online. But Today, we are going to read a very interesting and unique story. Today's story time is going to be a bit of a different story, so definitely pay attention and parents be prepared to have some interesting conversations with your child at home. Today, our story is called Sticky Brains. We are going to learn that bad thoughts can be sticky. So our character, Aria, is having a tough week. All she remembers is the bad things that happen. But we are going to learn with Aria that her brain has amazing abilities. She can train her brain to also remember the good things as well. So let's join Aria as she explores how to use her brain changing powers. So let's get started, shall we? Sticky Brains by Nicole Libin, PhD, illustrated by Cam Marsolier. Aria was feeling bad, really bad. She didn't feel like playing at all, even though her best friend, Zara, had come over. What's wrong, Aria? said Zara. This was the worst week ever. Everything was awful. Wow. Zarya said. What happened? Arya started to explain, getting madder and madder as she talked. She felt like her head was going to burst. On Monday, I broke my new laces. On Tuesday, I fell off my bike. On Wednesday, I made a mess of my favorite shirt. On Thursday, I brought my new car in for show and tell. But Max had the same car and he showed everyone before I got to. On Friday, my mom worked late, so I had to stay at school for an extra hour. My whole week was bad. Oh, my. Have you ever had this experience? Have you felt like Aria before? Where the whole week just did not go your way. Let's see what Aria learns. Zara looked puzzled. Wait, I was with you for most of that. You broke your new, your shoelaces on Monday, but you also got new shoes with lightning bolts on them. 
you fell off your bike on Tuesday because you were trying to ride with no hands and you did it. You dropped ice cream on your shirt on Wednesday, but your dad said you could clean it. On Thursday, you and Max were playing together with your cars all recess. Even the big kids watched. And I thought your mom worked late Friday so she could take you camping over the weekend. See, the week wasn't all bad. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I have to go in now. See you later. Arya was feeling confused. She went into the house and found her mom. Mom, I think there's something wrong with me. I only remember the bad stuff that happens. It makes me feel like I'm bad too. Her mom gave her a hug. Oh, sweetheart. That sounds very frustrating. And can I tell you a secret? Sure. I sometimes feel that way too. Really? Yes. So does your dad. Almost everyone feels like that some of the time. Do your parents feel that way too sometimes? Her mom started to explain. A long, long time ago, people really needed to watch out for scary things. If they didn't notice a mean tiger, they could be in danger. But if they missed the good stuff, like a ju juicy orange or a beautiful sunset, they would still be okay. So our brains learned to focus on the bad stuff because that's what helped us stay safe. But bad thoughts are like glue. They stick to us even if we don't want them to. This can make us feel like everything is bad or even that we're bad too. Hmm. Interesting. So bad thoughts are stickier than good ones? Asked Aria. Yes, replied her mom. The stuff we think is bad scary or sad is really sticky. Our brains see it more and remember it longer. So it's not just you who sees bad more than good. Everyone gets stuck sometimes. Well, I don't want to be stuck, yelled Aria. Her mom smiled, but there's really good news too. <gasps> What's the good news? Mm. First, we don't have to get mad at ourselves if we feel sad or if we get stuck on the bad stuff. And we can do something about it. We can actually change our brains to let go of the bad and see more of the good. The more we practice, the stronger our brains will be. Practice makes perfect. Do you remember when you were just learning to ride your bike? Aria nodded. It was really hard at first, 
I fell a bunch of times. But the more you did it, the easier it got, right? Aria nodded again. Yeah. I'm awesome at it now. Our brains work the same way. They get good at what we practice. So we can change our brains to see bad things in a new way. Yes, her mom replied. Instead of getting stuck, we can choose what we want to notice. Hmm. Aria started to think about this. If I practice, it would help me to see that things aren't all bad. My brain was showing me only parts of the picture. Her mom smiled again. Right. And we can teach our brains to see more of the good stuff more of the time. Why don't we try it now? When something good happens, let's help the feeling stick. First, we can take a few deep breaths. <sighs> now. Let's find something that makes us feel good. It could be something like a beautiful rainbow or getting a birthday present or even something small like a cool sip of water, maybe on a hot day. Hmm. Let's pay attention to how the good things make us feel inside. Then we can soak in the good feelings. Wow, said Aria. It's pretty easy to change my brain. So remember, even when everything feels awful, you can train your brain to Stick less to the bad and notice more of the good. You just need to practice it until it sticks. The next week, Aria and Zara were walking to school. All of a sudden, Aria tripped and fell down. Uh-oh, said Zaria. Is this another horrible week? Aria felt her face getting hot. She started to get mad again, but then she remembered her brain changing powers. She took a deep breath and decided to feel the warm sun on her face. It worked. She felt better. Well, I got in trouble for not cleaning my room. I lost my pony sunglasses and my unicorn shirt ripped, she said. But I also got to play outside, climb trees, and help my dad bake bread. Then she smiled and thought to herself, I wonder how I will change my brain next week. Hmm. Well, this is the end of our story today. What did you learn from Aria? Hmm? How did Aria change her mind? When I have a bad day, I try to think of two good things for every one bad thing that happens. So like Aria, if you saw in the picture, she fell down, but 
she thought. I get to be outside in the warm sunshine. She also got to see a beautiful bird in the tree, right? So for every bad thing that happens, think of two good things that happened instead. Bad things can pass. Good things we can remember. Well, talk to your parents about how you can train your brain to think more about the good things that happened to you. All right, you guys, I am finished for today and I am super excited to see you next week for another story time with Teacher Cole. As always, please feel free to join our Facebook group, Teacher Cole's English Corner, where you will have access to me, Teacher Cole, and all of my amazing teachers ready and willing to answer your questions online. All right, I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.